Splatoon 3 has dropped DLC and it's called Side Order. I'm going to be playing through all of it. So if you want to see even more of Splatoon 3 and especially the Side Order, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you've enjoyed the entirety of this video, specifically make sure you like it so other people know that this is a good video to watch, okay? So let's dive into what the Side Order has to offer with Mr. O'Brien. Do 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 ba 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 da 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 hi it's the splatoon 3 side order the downloadable content here for uh splatoon 3 on i was gonna say playstation 5 i'm saying that because i wish there was actually a game worth playing on playstation 5 that wasn't spider-man 2 that's that's mostly why but splatoon just came out with brand new downloadable content and if you're familiar with me and what i do i really liked the splatoon 2 dlc when that came out forever ago so now that we have something brand new for splatoon 3 it is all blank for whatever reason i'm gonna showcase whatever it is and experience it alongside all of you and then you can say hey is this worth me spending my hard-earned 25 bucks on which is not how much i paid because i redeemed my gold coins my name is brian saviano bricks oh brian Diving back into Splatoon 3, this is apparently a tower climb uh, mode sort of a thing. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, this Octoling here and go with this perspective. Uh, what about a headache? You okay? I don't have a headache of any kind. We're going to go with just a standard, the standard gear here. Ooh, we can get multicolor eyes. That's kind of cool. Not really fitting for the, uh, for the ensemble here, but that's fine too. Uh, we'll do that too. All right. So that's the eight. I know. Sure. I think this is reminiscent of the last time we were Agent 8 in Splatoon 2. But again, it's been a very long time. Uh, if you hadn't been around, I had a plan B. What's up? I got something. On you have a little something on your face. You're looking a little robotic. I'm Pearl. You know, your bestie. Are you really? You sure about that? You sure? No, for serious. I'm legit Pearl. Not sure how I got this way, but here I am. Not sure where Marina went either. She's supposed to be with me. Don't you remember, Marina? I don't remember anything. I just woke up here after taking the train from Inkopolis Square. So this is one half of the DLC. The other half of it is just getting a new area for you to like walk around in. It's really kind of boring actually, but it's from Splatoon 1, which is why they wanted to include it and make it the definitive version of Splatoon. So. You basically, ooh, the frame rate's really nice. Look at that. Uh, I'm used to Inkopolis Square and the the other location where it's like half the amount because it's very uh, busy with stuff, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll continue that thought in a second here. So this is essentially the gist, right? Shake a leg eight, get to the top of the tower, you got it. So there's all these different lockers. I mean, this is not how I remember the square looking before in Splatoon 2. Obviously, it's very blank compared to everything else happening but uh yeah i i wanted to dive into it because you know splatoon oh it has a it, oddly enough has a special place in my heart um i really enjoy splatoon and it's actually the game i play a lot off camera the online portion because i like i'm not a competitive splatoon person you know i'm never that person but i enjoy going and playing through the game and that's like my online game that i play you know, some people play uh, way more violent kind of games for online multiplayer. Uh, I do not. I play Splatoon. That's pretty much all I got on the table here. So one thing I will say I don't like immediately, and I saw this in a debut trailer for the thing. Uh, this debuted kind of haphazardly. Like, they, they showed it a long time ago, but then they didn't show everything about it until very recently. It was very, I believe, very haphazardly. I am never a fan this might be a controversial opinion. I am never a fan of when a game has the numbers pop out of a weapon when you're using it. I really just don't like it because there's nothing stopping you from just upgrading your weapon and continuing the 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 lineup, you know? It's you're you're essentially defeating the same difficulty of enemy while upgrading your weapon although the the same way. That's not really a, a a succinct way of me explaining it here, but I'm also trying to register that there's this character here, Marina. You know, Splatoon is another one of those series that likes to toss out new characters every single time. 
and then they discard the characters every single time in the next thing. So, you know, for, forgive my emotional investment, I guess, for right now. Uh, I'm Oct. As for Marina and me, we go way back. Do you really? So, like, uh, like, school? Or, like, drama? I don't know. But those fish found me first. I call them gelatins. That's why they're trapped in the elevator. Ooh. The spire is crammed with gelatins. They would have gave... They... Well, they this wound they gave me hasn't healed, so I'm stuck. Yikes. That's a nice wound. Oh, two wounds. Look at that. That's poor luck right there. Okay, Pearl. Now check out what happens when you set the color chip in the palette. Yeah, so that's the whole thing here. And that's what initially grabbed me about all this was like, yeah, it, there's no color. So you're basically customizing your, your loadout with different colors and abilities as you're going through what I believe to be each of these levels here. So we're starting off with the beige or the pink that changes pearl's color here get a slightly stronger weapon set a whole bunch of color chips in here you can walk around all over those fishy freaks yeah for sure and i believe this is something you are meant to play over and over again so you're not just playing one time through calling it there and then that's it so that's cool oh yeah there we go so Hit the button for the top floor already yeah no but you can't it only it only goes up one floor at a time because they want to make sure it extends the gameplay and all that so yeah i enjoyed the splatoon 2 dlc i've actually played through it twice i believe for videos in my entire career of doing stuff so it's been a long time since we've gotten a splatoon dlc because two came out in 27 2017 did it really well uh, the dlc maybe 2018 so at least five years gross Five or six years? It's way too long, man. Nah. Now that you've said it, uh, your shots will do more damage from a distance. Cool. There's a practice target right there. Well, yeah, they're going to basically reintroduce the game for the people that may not uh, remember how to play Splatoon, which is definitely a thing. Oh, this is essentially how you start every level, I believe. Cool. So, yeah, you're just literally going ahead and... Oh, we got a nice little uh, situation here. Cool. And then we just do this. And you're essentially just destroying the the enemies while making sure that you you know you have the proper ink channels, getting the right amount of damage, and then boom, there you go. So it's very reminiscent of obviously general Splatoon, but then the first DLC for Splatoon 2, you know, you're going through levels and doing the thing. But what I believe the issue is here, if you fail. And I think fail, I think like three times, or maybe just once, then you're done. You got to restart the whole thing. You got to be very careful, play it uh, very conservatively, right? So you can take a hot, it's a, it's what we call a risk reward situation, everybody. You want to make sure you have a balance between what you're capable of doing, what tools you have on your side, whatever, whatever, right? So as always, there's three portals this time. Mission objective, you know the drill. Like, like now, now it's getting to it. But also, there's no point in destroying that. Okay, cool, awesome. That's just that's just for practice. Good. As I escape this little bird cage here. Okay, and I can I can hop off if I want to, and immediately start to do the ink. So that way, I can get a little bit of uh, XP as I go along here. So I'm not quite sure if the levels are going to be different themselves if I do this over and over again. I think that's yet to be seen, but I think that'd be kind of interesting if they allowed that to happen, you know? And obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna get every single port portal that I can and do everything possible here. I believe also, we do this. I mean, obviously we can do that, but like, is it gonna, oh, it actually recharges. So it's not like you acquire uh, one level of stuff and then you're good to go, right? No. Oh, I thought you just, ooh, one of them fell off. Good, all right, so you can, you can trick the AI, it seems like, into just magically vanishing off of nowhere. So they are nowhere near as smart as you might give them credit for. So that's good to remember. So yeah, we have three lives, as you can see in the top left-hand corner while I'm doing a level there. So that works out pretty nicely. And yeah, I, I haven't played Splatoon in quite a minute here because I was focusing actually on making my second book, Pro Gamer's Guide to Making Friends. So Actually, I have to do this right after this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put up this and record this and make sure it gets out there, and then I have to get back to literally uh, putting the text into the book with the boxes and everything. 
I have a, a fancy new blue uh, tumbler, which is, you know, where all the cold brew coffee exists. It'll stay there as I stay energized to keep doing the thing. So thank you for tuning alongside and seeing it, seeing if this is something you want to do, you know? It's, it's me experiencing it for the first time, but also, you know, you get to watch and be like, yo, is this, is this worthwhile, man? Should I, should I meow this out over here? Sometimes the answer is yes, and sometimes it's no. For example, regarding DLC, uh, I did not play the Pokemon DLC. I did not play uh, any of that, any of that noise, not even a little bit. So, <laughs> so I just didn't feel like playing it. And nobody, nobody like asked me Nobody was like, hey, Brian, I mean, maybe a couple people, right? But like, not like a lot of people. So that was my sign. I'm like, you know what? My enjoyment of Pokemon, not that we want to be super negative, right? But my enjoyment of Pokemon has been um, decreasing for a long time, just because like the games do not look nearly as good as they should for how much money they end up making. And okay, so I can have a little bit of advantage here by just staying in this top portion here. Does it automatically destroy all of them? Yeah, okay, cool. So it might be more advantageous to like destroy everything first and then get to that, but this is a first run here, so I'm gonna optimize just doing the thing, you know? But with Pokemon, ooh, we have an Ink Saver main. Two color chips from this one, cool. All right, it says reward up there. What's about that? It's about how much mem bucks you get from clearing each floor. Not sure what those are for yet, but yeah, you wanna accumulate wealth like uh, a multi-billionaire who has nothing else to spend it on or like smog going into the the hoard of gold i guess right no obviously obviously not but yeah with like the pokemon dlc i i didn't download either of them i haven't played either of them and you know i've seen people be very excited about them but i wasn't i wasn't interested man it's just you know i i liked scarlet and violet for what it was i really did but there was just some parts of it, man. I was just not feeling. So hopefully, hopefully y'all understand. And, you know, I, I'm taking a way more focus now on, like, playing the games that I enjoy and showcasing the the, the joy that I experience. Oh, we got to glide. Oh, whoops. Well, then, that'll do it. Um, You know, showcasing the joy that I have for the for a game or for a thing, you know? Instead of being like, hey, I feel obligated to play this because of uh, whatever is new and happening, right? Like, I always play the games that, I mean, I'd like to think I play the games that I, so, ooh, that worked out very nicely. You know, play the stuff that I enjoy, play the stuff that people would want to see from me, because if I'm not excited about playing a game, then why would anybody else be excited about watching me play the game, you know? 35 ticks left. That's kind of interesting. They call it ticks. It's kind of a like a video game development term. Well, I guess it's kind of what this is, right? They're kind of trying to play into that whole fact, right? So anyways, yeah, it, it just wasn't uh, wasn't the deal for me. So hopefully y'all enjoy watching me play this and can, yeah, can decide for yourself. But I haven't seen anybody get like super up in arms about Pokemon, like except for the diehard Pokemon people. So not that we want to harp on Pokemon too much here, but, you know, that's that's what the the only other comparison I can make by how excited I am for this to Pokemon DLC and all that. So killer drones. Oh, boy. What a great way to start off a Thursday morning. Random Thursday morning, by the way. This is like the only Nintendo game coming out for the next like month, you know, and there's going to be Super uh, Princess Peach Showtime which I can't say is necessarily a game I'm going to play, but like, you know, it's probably not. So, you know, I could, I could play it, but it is not generally interesting to me. And that's not because it's a Princess Peach game and like, uh, I just don't understand what the game is about. And I feel like some of the gameplay would not necessarily be for me. So I keep forgetting what, what I have to do to hop off here. All right, so we have to, oh, this is kind of cool. So, oh, it's like um, like a tower defense sort of a deal. So you know what this is right here? I'll tell you exactly what this is. This is probably Nintendo's way of saying, hey, um, we want to add these game modes into Splatoon 4. 
and this is our test bed to see if people will actually like these. I guarantee you that's what this is. Like something like this, I could absolutely see being as part of a uh, a game mode or something like that, right? There's some weird bouncy things after us. You got it. Well, let's not uh, let's not allow them into here. Uh, how do I get up here? How do I get up there? Because I clearly can't ink the walls, right? This is where we got spicy here. What do I? Oh, there's a spring literally right here. I'm being a Goomba and a cake. Look at me. Look at me, Mr. Goomba himself. There we go. Yeah, this is very clearly what they're what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it like, oh, what would work for the next game? And yeah, this is absolutely something I'd love to see. Like a, a tower defense kind of a ah thing like that. Nice and moving with that right there. Beautiful. And then oh, I was so close. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Add that into Splatoon 4. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know if they'll do, like, they added two Splatoon games to Nintendo Switch. They had one for Wii U. Rumor is that Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be coming out 2024, 2025. I don't know. Nobody knows quite yet. But I think they could get away with adding another Splatoon only for Switch 2, not for Nintendo Switch again, you know? Is there anything about this I can change? Um, I can swap stuff out, right? Oh, it's like um, like a, a not a, I think it's called a mini machine where basically all the different sound effects play. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's kind of cool. All right. I like that. But yeah, we're not in a spot where we can really you know swap stuff out and whatever quite yet. So what I think I'm gonna do is do ten floors. And then eventually do 15. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where things will be at. But again, just learning the experience all at once, you know. A disc piece for the drone back there. Y'all don't even know what discs are. I barely remember what this. No, that's, that's a bold-faced lie. I know exactly what discs are. That's what you use to put movies and games and media and all sorts of stuff on there. That's exactly what that's for. Luckily, with this, we can just... Pop on over to here. Now, obviously, you being experienced with Splatoon is definitely going to help. Got a disc there. That's the first piece. Okay. Ooh, that's a rather difficult enemy here. Um, the disc pieces help with... That's kind of cool. So it acts like a uh, a temporal booyah bomb, and it resists what the, uh, the spawner is right there. That's kind of interesting. That's very cool. I'm a fan of that. Wow. Uh, so if I try to prioritize that, is that going to go? Oh, I can't actually do anything with that. Interesting. I can't destroy it. Huh. Okay. Well, hey, I got 10 ticks left, which is kind of sort of 10 seconds. That's like the terminology you use. Um, and I know that in programming, because whenever they talk about uh, Minecraft Java and like how many ticks to make a thing happen you know, that's kind of the logic. That That's the only thing I draw a comparison to. I'm not a, a, a game developer, clearly, here. Okay, so now we can actually change what the difficulty is. I'm going to go max because I'm a certified professional gamer. I got, I got two books under the belt, okay? I am more qualified than most to speak on what we're doing here, all right? And then at the end of every boss, I'm sorry, at the end of every 10 levels, there's a boss, you know? There's a lucky chain over here. Uh, higher your luck goes, the more uh, lucky bombs you get. Interesting. So I think I saw those, but they looked like they were trying to destroy me. So I don't really know. Looks like a, 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 a playtime area here, which is basically how I feel my place looks like a lot of the time here. Ooh. Ooh, that's very nice. So that's basically like a little, uh, a little disc that pops on out. So yeah, there, there's really no harm in trying to make... Uh, a harder difficulty make or work for you right now because like you know things are kind of working against you but it's not uh, it's not impossible you know you can do stuff like this come on come on hello hello was this not gonna work hello really what why is it not working okay well i guess not whatever Let's try this. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, what on earth are you? Hello. Whoa. 
Okay, so we're we're learning. We're cooking. Oh, it does, it saves. Oh, that's fine. I I thought like you know. I thought I thought we'd have to redo the whole thing all over again. What's the deal? Oh, we have to jump on it. Oh. Oh, that's why. Oh. Whoops. You know, everything in Splatoon pertains to, like, shooting the thing. So you can't blame me for being like, what? You know? Still got a world tour to finish, but after that, I promise we could find a quiet spot together. Take it easy for a while. Got to save her. Yeah, of course. That's what has to happen. Love to sit down and swap marina stories, but this is fair. Yep. All right, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go all the way for it, man. As as action packed as we possibly can make it. Make it as difficult as possible. I want I want life to be as as tumultuous as humanly practical. We got some fishies here. Oh, those are new enemies. Yes, they are. They're gelatins like the rest. You have to beat three to clear the floor. Uh, they have wheels for feet. Yes, they do. So they're probably a little bit quicker, which is, again, fine, because I'm a certified professional gamer. All right. Uh, as you should mention by this, you can make the cage go faster. Okay, yeah, I can definitely make that go faster there. This is armor. Very nice. Ooh, and those certainly help make the experience more worthwhile here. Ooh. But I can mess you up. Yeah, so the, the key here is obviously going to be to stop them in their tracks by plopping down the ink, making that work. And they, it looks like they run away, which is fine. There we go. All right, easy. See? So if you've been playing Splatoon for a long time, getting in there and destroying whatever you got to do, it's going to be pretty easy for you. I don't see a reality where, like, it's going to get that difficult unless you don't fundamentally understand you know what's going on right reddish color chips are power tone so they increase the damage output there um and yeah you can see that actually on the left hand side there you can swap out stuff if you really uh wanted to but right now we got a pretty nice uh nicely stacked deck here you know and then i'm assuming they'll give us more weapons and stuff to work with too so that'll be just fine indeed floor nine rolling dot floor oh they're all file names i understand now i get it cool eight balls those things again the frayed you're gonna have to get to those infinity balls all the balls the types of eight infinity and beyond come on i had to right if if there's the word infinity popping up beyond has to be said as well all right into the hole oh that's a whoa that's kind of cool they just kind of pop in here is that is that the is that the vibe yeah it is all right cool nice all right so that works out pretty pretty oh oh and they are trapped in by an invisible are they did that work oh that is very spicy so now i'm curious if those enemies could actually knock them out of the frame right there but that was in record time and that was i mean it was on easy but you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's where we'll find Marina, right? No, no, because there's clearly like way more slots and floors and whatever. So uh, control room, we don't have any other way to swap stuff out. So that's fine. Give us a level 10. Where do we have to be? What do we have to do? How are we going to meow it out? What kind of coffee is going to be here? Ooh, Mr. Octavio, we haven't seen you in a while, man. Meow, meow. Mr. Meowy Zowie, look at this guy. Ain't no way that's Mr. Octavio reusing the same. Oh, it's. Wait, it is Marina. My bad. Whoops. I, I, you know, it's been a minute since I played Splatoon, man. Give, give me a moment. Let me cook. Guess not. She's all tangled up. I am the chat GPT of Splatoon. Why is her body pumping? It's kind of okay we're gonna rock around the clock tonight we're gonna rock 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 to the wrong daylight come on bam, ba -da -bam, ba -da -bam, bam. eyes on the prize everybody just focus on the goal at hand so you can see even even right now there's that much more damage that's being done because i'm hitting these as they are which is obviously 
ideal. Um, I wish I would get access to a different weapon. That'd be cool. But you know what? That's fine, too. Luckily, with Splatoon... You know what really helps with this? Pro Gamer tip. I'm realizing this right now. My Salmon Run instincts are kicking in hardcore. Hardcore. Definitely hardcore. Okay, so that obviously does no damage whatsoever. So keep that in mind. What's this do? Do we do this? What's the point? Oh, we... I mean... That's probably after we take care of Marina right here. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, what definitely helps with this is um, Salmon Run. Playing Salmon Run to get the spatial awareness you need to make this work go. And using these to exit sticky situations. Definitely very helpful. Very, 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 very helpful. And again, obviously, we're very early in this equation here, right? But... I think this is what's helping me. I, I, can, I can tell it's what's happening to me right now. Like, it just works out super well. Um, oh, there we go. Look at that. Nice. Uh, those are pain point areas. Want to avoid those, that's for sure. Nope. Ooh, one life loss there. Okay, so I'm just... I'm learning how the boss behaves. It's three lives for at least ten floors here. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I have to be way more tactical with how things are. There we go. Hopefully this can work out nicely. Are you just going to let me meow it out? No, you're not. You're definitely not. Okay. But if I just keep moving, I'll be good. Yep. Yep. Come on. Dude, how much ink are you going to use up, man? Come on. Seriously? Seriously. Come on. Yes. Yes. At least that's one. Uh. Mommy. Oh. Oh, that was easy. That's, uh, is that eight in Pearl? I mean, technically, yes. That's what happens when AI takes over, everybody. Beware. That's, that's what ChatGPT looks like. Great skilling interrupted. Intruders confirmed. Disorderly classifying the. Who is this fool? I am order itself, a conscious generator from the processes of many who yearn. I am now fully realized. Therefore, I'm no further use for a host vessel. All things will be converted. It's it's ChatGPT. Not not that we don't love our our AI overlords, but you know, man. Hey, man. We gotta we gotta keep the human element out there we gotta we gotta preserve the human spirit and not just like computers cook because when they cook we get this so that's pro that's probably what this entire thing is right it's like oh there's our nice little intro card here splatoon 3 splatoon 3 side order so now it's side of order the order with the the thing that the entity is is order so it's side against or with order you get it see what i see what i mean that's it there eight eight please be okay I, listen i'm fine it's all good so there's our tutorial so now we'll have to work our way probably back all the way up and climb the tower and whatever thank you so much for freeing me you're welcome oh you're in the flesh now it's been a minute what is that wallpaper? Hello? You do whatever you want, but I... Let me back up a bit. Okay. Ooh, in a... Uh, is that is that a um, blender? Your virtual reality? Hold up. You've been saying we're in a fake place this whole time? That's right. The only real things in the memverse are our minds. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Virtual reality. Splatoon. It's forcibly connecting knows how many people to the members. Their main, their minds are all in here now. So she basically let this AI program run amok. So sorry, I never intended for you to get roped into my mess. We all have other problems. That's true. Like what to do about the situation we're in. Yeah, absolutely. We're right. Order's ultimate goal is a colorless world of order. A place where nobody will have a will of their own. They just do whatever they're told day in and day out. That sounds really sad, and we shouldn't let that happen. The, the colors are what give the flavor of life. 
exist within the confines of the reality we construct within our minds. We don't stop it. Everyone will be depressed, <laughs> basically. We can't have that. We got we to have happiness and hope and fulfillment and goals and dreams and ambitions and, you know, whatever. We're all going to kick that loser out together. Are you really? No. Hmm, okay. You say the coolest things. Well, with that, with that jacket, I mean, how could you not say the coolest things, right? And into a drone she goes. Cool. Eight, we got our back here. All right. So now it looks like we have uh, just some settings there. Whatever. And 50 of the things back are 50, like, pearls, I guess. Running some scans. Uh, what's What do we got to do? Well, for one thing, the spire is suddenly taller, but that's not the worst part. Uh, we've been kicked out of the spire since enemies hurt more. Gotcha. Okay. So, again, that was, like, the tutorial for everything here. Uh, I can hack the system to overwrite changes in the difficulty. So, yeah, as you keep climbing back up the tower, you'll have more difficult enemies, but you can also incentivize that by having um you know other additions you know so like here we can we can use our 50 you know whatever things to change whatever we have here so we can increase our max lives from three to four damage reduction now the idea is you want to keep a balanced meter i always keep a balanced meter i don't go with like you know maxing out one thing and then another thing another thing I like having balance because that's what uh, pro gamers do. You lead a balanced and healthy lifestyle, right? But what I'm going to go with first out of everything here, probably damage reduction because I feel like I can navigate easily between each of the levels and stuff because I have that awareness from uh, Salmon Run. So like Max Lives isn't as appealing right now, but if I can take less damage from the more enticing enemies yeah then that'll be that'll be good so what i'll do is i will continue oh one more thing wait real quick a pallet for me here switching weapons by changing the pallet interesting setting a new pallet drone i mean pearl we'll have a new weapon spicy so the scans have different lockers inside of there interesting so three keys for them can't change the pallets while climbing the spire so essentially you can have different loadouts for different runs throughout the spire here this is very common for um, Marina's dev diary. Okay, cool. Interesting. Should you keep this under lock and key? I guess you kind of did. <laughs> yeah, so that's where you can get your lore and stuff like that. But yeah, you can you can do different runs as you're going up the tower. And that works out nicely. We'll go one, two, three. We got a lobby terminal, sure. A banner. Um, so eventually you'll be able to unlock everything here. Now we have the splatter shot. Sweet. So I'm going to keep the dualies for right now, and it looks like four is definitely going to be a new weapon here. So that's cool. Guess order somehow pulled apart Agent 4. Soul into the members there. Interesting. Still getting the signals from the pallets and the lockers. Keep opening them to find the keys as well. Interesting. So if I take a look at the pallets momentarily here, yeah, I'm not going to go with the splat brella or anything. I'm just going to do literally this. Um, but yeah, different circumstances are going to call for different weapons and all that. But for right now, that's that. I'm going to continue through the side order and we're going to jump into the actual tower itself and uh, get through 30 levels, ideally, of Splatoon 3 side order. I'll talk to you next time, everybody. It's been Bobby, it's been Mr. O'Brien here. Bye.